Hello! <laughs> I definitely just turned my car on, got out of the car, got back in the car just to film this intro. <laughs> Well, I didn't want to sit down to do my makeup, but then not know how to start it. So I was like, let me just take them with me. We're going to we're gonna go get some Starbucks, and then we're going to come back. And I'm going to show you how to do my makeup, okay? All right, let's go, baby. Safety first. I don't know if that camera's going to stay there while I'm driving, but I'm definitely not going to look at it because I'm safe. For the past, like, I don't even know how many months, probably, like, almost a year I've been telling my boyfriend and my mom I've been saying like I'm gonna start doing YouTube again I'm gonna start doing it I want to film a video and it was like every day that I go to film a video I just like I don't know something wasn't right or I wasn't like feeling it or whatever it was and so I was like if I don't just start it I'm never gonna start it so I was like why not we're on quarantine right now for coronavirus I don't know, I like to teach people, and I like to, like, show, I feel like I have, like, some pretty good, like, tips and tricks, so, it's just fun, it's fun for me, it's not really about, like, I'm not trying to get, like, YouTube famous, but, um, it's just, yeah, I enjoy it, so. I get so nervous whenever I'm in the drive through line, because I know they're about to ask me what I want, and I know I'm about to say, like, uh, I want this, actually, I want this, actually, oh, wait, never mind, I don't know what I want. Like a year ago, my dad was saying, he was like, hey, he's like, have you ever heard of this app, TikTok? And I like, I laughed so hard. I remember sending like a Snapchat to my friends of him saying it because I just thought it was so funny. Because at the time it was like, kind of like cringy, TikTok was. But now it's so fun. I get it. Like it, it literally, those little dances, like you do like the, it's, <laughs> and I can't dance. I mean, I have no rhythm whatsoever, but it's just like so fun get your little dances and you do your little thing and you watch them back my obviously my things on private because it's like super super bad and if other people watch them they'd probably be like someone tell this girl to delete her app but i get a kick out of it all right <laughs> i hope my camera stays there i know once i start driving it's gonna go like flying but oh this is gonna taste so good so if you're curious if you didn't hear me um order I get a dragon drink. I get a dra I get a grande dragon drink in a venti cup. Please don't hit me with your car, sir. Okay, I just pulled in. Let's get our stuff out and go inside and get this party started. All right, I finished my egg bites and my drink. I have my stuff set up. Oh, it's a little echoey in here, I'm sorry. I hope it's not like too bad. I'll find out whenever I edit it, I guess. And then I use the Clinique. Dramatically different. It took me a second. I use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. And so I use this and I put that all over my face. And then I use like a half pump of self tanner and I put that all over my face. And it just like. So I do this before I do my makeup. I already did that this morning, but other than that, I just put like my self tanner on my face this morning, but I don't have anything else on. So this is my situation. I have like normal to dry skin. This is just the pencil that I brought down with me, which is the Benefit Precisely My Brow. This is like $20 maybe, I think, which is pretty expensive. The NYX brow pencil is really good too. I would just get that. I mean, this it's basically the same thing. So I just, I mean, pretty self-explanatory, just fill in my eyebrows, starting at the bottom, and just kind of, I, I like the shape of my eyebrows, so I don't need to do any correcting. So it's pretty much just like kind of filling in what I already have. One time, the night before homecoming in high school, my mom, because my mom like does all my waxing, and she didn't have her glasses on, and we were in kind of like a dark room, and she literally waxed my eyebrows like over to here on both sides. If I can find the picture, I'll insert it. But I was like, Okay, and I, I have blonde hair, so I didn't really realize it until the next morning I got up to do my homecoming makeup and I had half an eyebrow. That was fun, super fun, yeah. We love that. But, all right, so eyebrows done. Next thing I do is I go in with my foundation. So I have this foundation I could go on for hours about. It's literally the only foundation I've used like religiously for the past two years. 
the color 208 is like my perfect color. I love it so much. The, oh my gosh, it's dripping on me. Ah. Anyways, um, I just got that all over my hand. I thought it was almost empty. Ah. The L'Oreal Pro Glow is my favorite formula. That's what I would use on a lot of my um, brides and bridesmaids because it's just, it's so blendable. So what I do is I put that on my hand. It looks really light now, but it oxidizes. And I barely get it on the brush. And so I kind of just beat the brush around on my hand then because I don't want it to cover my face. I just want it to allow my face to match my body. So then I start in really little circular motions, just kind of like this. Can you see that? I love this foundation. I don't want to cover my freckles or anything. I'm just trying, like I said, just trying to make everything look cohesive is really the only reason why I use foundation now. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline New York um, concealer in the shade 25. This concealer, I love it. It's not full coverage by any means. It just kind of gives me what I want. It gives me what I want, but um, it isn't, it doesn't look done up, which is what I like. I just want it to look like natural. And I really just do like dot, 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 and that's it. I get killer bags under my eyes whenever I'm at school studying late and stuff. So if that's the case, then I will put the tiniest bit of the Tarte Shape Tape. This is my baby, okay? This is the Flower Beauty Pore Perfect Instant Blur Stick. So one side's a primer, one side's a foundation stick, actually. I don't use the primer, hence why it has no lid on it and it's all beaten up. I've actually never even tried the primer. I'm sure it's decent, but I don't really do primers. I don't know. And this is a foundation, but I use it for a contour stick and it is the most blendable, amazing color ever. I love it. So what I do is I go like this. And I place it. I promise my hands don't usually look like that whenever I self tan. My hands got burnt and they're peeling and it looks really bad, okay? It's not under your cheekbone because then things get brought down. It's like where your cheekbone is because whenever you blend and stuff, things are naturally gonna kind of fall a little bit. So follow that and I always bring it up. You don't just wanna go eat, eat. Like you wanna make it all look cohesive. I got burnt at the beach the other day so I'm like peeling everywhere. So on my chest and my hands, my hands got burnt, like really burnt. I was riding the jet ski and I guess cause I was like this, it just like, it burnt the heck out of me. So I love to drag this up. Can you see? Up into like this right here area because this gives you like a really cool look. It makes your eyes look more like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but I love it. Your, I'm just getting this and touching this and blending this in there. You literally bring your nose contour into your eyeshadow. Like put the pencil back in there, which is just like what I mean. You really, you don't need nice products. You just have to know how to use like the products that you do have. I just wanted a pencil that was like creamy and blendable and it just so happened to be an eyebrow pencil. So what I do is, so you can see your bottom, um, like your waterline, how it starts there, curves under, and then it goes back up. You just wanna follow where that bottom line goes, bringing that directly out to where your, the end of your eyebrow is. And then, so I have, once I have my line placed, I just connect it to my actual eye. And then I go in with um, an angled brush and just blend that. You can go in with your finger even, and you just wanna blend it so it looks more like a shadow. You're not trying to get like a harsh line. You just want like a shadow of like darkness. That's a really lovely face, isn't it? <laughs> my camera died. We love that. So I ran out to my car and got the charger. And while it was charging, I made TikToks. A lot of TikToks. I'm trying to get that one where it's like, well, you're out there drinking and I'm just a thinking. But I can't do that. Like I can go down with the row. I just can't come back. I don't know. What are you going to do? Okay, so I don't really know where I left off. I think eyeliner? Oh, no, 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 I know. Oh, my hair, yeah, my hair is a lot different because you're TikToking. TikTok's an exercise. Bronzer, hmm. I'm just gonna go in there, a few like little taps, smack her off. And now I'm just going in and same place where we put that, but a little more like precise because it's powder and since my face is already a little dewy, it's really gonna stick wherever I put it, so. 
because it just makes it so cohesive. Take shot for every time I've said cohesive. Yeah, you don't need to spend money on like high-end stuff. It's not necessary. I've used like this foundation, for example, is $11, $8 with like the CVS coupon. I love my coupons. And um, it's like, compare. I've used $70 foundations, which looking back makes me like so mad that I would ever spend $70 on a foundation. Cause it was like, it was sh sh I don't know if I'm gonna swear yet on this channel. I'm trying like not to, because I know my mom's gonna, see, if she saw it, she'd be like, Tabitha, like, did you need to say that? Come on, don't, come on, don't, don't use that kind of language. But you know, it's hard not, it's hard to like be authentic and not like talk how I would normally talk. But anyways, yeah, the $70 foundation was not good. You can infer what I'd like to say, but you know, never mind. But okay, now I'm just gonna bronze, getting a big fluffy Real Techniques brush. Just gonna go in there, clean my hair off. And I'm just gonna put that in the same places where we contoured, a little bit on the cheeks too. I guess we're on with mascara. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I, it's like 50-50 if I do this. I don't really think, oh, psych. The little plastic part that's supposed to go in there to curl them is not there, so never mind. I use the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. It's a dupe to the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I love this stuff. It's And mascara is something too that I'm like, I don't really care. I don't see a big difference between drugstore and high-end mascara. It's so funny, I was looking back at my old videos and I was telling Garrett, my boyfriend, I literally, my voice was like, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Next, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer and then I'm gonna go in with some blush and this is my makeup look. See you next time. Like, it was so, ugh. It was, I was just really timid and like scared. And next, which is my favorite thing in the whole process, I go in with this stippling brush and my Buxom Dolly blush. I love blush. Like, I love blush. I can't do my makeup without blush. It's like my favorite part. I just think it like brings it all together and it's like, ah, I love it. And I use a lot of it because blush is the first thing to go. Like, first thing to wear off of your face. If you bring it up kind of on the forehead, it makes it look like you were actually in the sun. <laughs> it just gives you color. Oh, look at that. I love that. Pop it on there. And then I always go on my nose just because I like what it looks like. I used to wear like super nude nudes. Like, I just, I wanted my lipstick to be like concealer. It's not my vibe anymore. I used to, I also used to like hate that word, but I don't know, what else word are you gonna use? Vibe just like, it is what you mean. Okay, so this is my favorite lip combination ever. It goes really well with just like my hair, my complexion, my eyes. It's the Sephora brand. It's like $8. I love lip liner. Okay. So now that that's lined, I just kind of tap it in like that. And it has like a purpley undertone. And then I go in with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair, which I love, love this gloss. It's like, oh, it's so good. Okay. And it's like pinky and throw that on there. I think that's it. I think this is it. Okay, so yeah, that's the final look. And I hope you guys like learned something. If you have questions, sorry, I'm like bumping the table because I'm excited, but um, let me know. Like put it in the, uh, put it in the comments and I don't know. Yeah, comment me, message me, my Instagrams, Tabitha underscore Dior, and you can ask me questions. I love like answering people's questions about makeup or skincare or whatever. Like I'm, I'm nice, so <laughs> like I'm happy to like answer any questions you guys have. But uh, I hope you guys liked it. I'm excited. I'm really happy to like be doing this again. So I hope it goes well. And let me know what you want to see next. Okay. I was thinking maybe like I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Just let me know. So all right. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Happy quarantine. Bye.